So that's why you have to tour so much to, to make some, uh, some money. Well, touring is just something you get used to. You get it's extremely hard and, and psychedelic for me to go back home and relearn how to do the dishes, um, buy the toilet paper, stuff like that. It's so easy living in hotels. You just get used to that kind of living. But but uh, no, touring is a uh, way of life. Would sound a bit corny, which it probably is, but it is a way of avoiding grown up and it is a way of seeing a lot of places you you would never go to you know weird places Minneapolis and get your drink spiked in Minneapolis and waking up from a you know a hotel with an hourly rate next morning with everything stolen off of you that's it's very it's like a uh, like Indiana Jones with that without the hat and the money kind of Oh, you guys make make good money on, on on tour. No, I got the hat. No, no, you don't actually because it's like a lot of people don't realize the fact that uh, that uh, the bigger the venue, the bigger the tour, the bigger the, the expenses are as well. So you got to put on a great light show and more PA and stuff like that. So basically, I guess that the most money comes from merchandise. Yeah. So t-shirts, sales, sales, stuff like that. I don't know the exact figures. You know, I don't want to know, but. Uh, I think that's the that's the way that that you keep on funding yourself. We're not broke, you know, but we're not zillionaires either. We're we're not rappers, you know. You want all the girls to keep buying your shirts? Uh, well, girls and boys and everything in between, and uh, you know, we're trying to figure out a new line of clothing for animals as well, so we expand our territory uh, to kids, obviously. So we we're, we're omnivorous when it comes to that. Um, Oh, well, you know, it's just a complex thing. We're musicians. I write songs. We perform, and we're happy doing that. And then there's, we're lucky enough to be in a situation where there's people who design fairly good T-shirts as well. So we don't have to do that. We can just concentrate on the essential. And that is making music, creative part. Well, that's the thing I've been doing since I was a kid, you know. Obviously, I've been buying a lot of Iron Maiden and Cathedral and type of negative T-shirts as well, so I know what I like. But, uh, but... I'm not a businessman. I'm a musician, so and I, I'm not Gene Simmons. Okay. Well, you know, you take pride in that. No, I'm thinking about Gene Simmons' sex tape or <laughs> alleged sex tape. Yeah, I do take pride in that. Okay. So, uh, but you have good managers and stuff to, to to work it all out for you. Oh yeah, we're glad actually to have Seppo, who's the name of the guy. Uh, he's been with us since the very beginning of the band, so. He's not stealing too much from us, and he does have really fat illegal accounts, probably in Cayman Islands or something like the French Riviera. He's got like mansions and shit, and we don't have anything. But uh, it's better than nothing. We still have the bread on the table, and we're able to um, pay our phone bills. So we're good. And you, and you like your job? Uh, I don't still consider it a job. I consider it uh, uh, an overwhelming, uh, very much extended hobby you know and a passion in a way that is weird that it has taken us so far uh, the, it, it very rarely feels like a job and when it does feel like a job that's the time to actually go back home and relax that that's a that's a sign that you I get a bit burned out something like that and of course it happens to people to everybody but not playing gigs you know you know you might be hung over you might be feeling you know You know, under the weather and stuff like that, but that's not a part that you would think. Kaching! Now we just made. You know, I gotta go on stage because I'm gonna make like a thousand euros for singing crappy songs for an hour and a half. It's not like that yet. Maybe in all the reunion tours in 20 years. Well, we keep on splitting up, so this is probably a like zillion reunion tour in a way. But yeah, we, we, we're gonna do a proper one. Sure, sure. Just play. And, uh, we're going to do an extensive tour in Germany and just play "Join Me in Death" ten times in a row. That's our way of uh, celebrating our reunion whenever that happens. But we're trying to figure out also a way to use like cyborgs to make it a bit more craftworky the whole thing, so we don't have to actually be in the stage. Or like Boney M, have one original member in all the different hymn bands. You know, have Gas having one hymn, and I do one hymn, and that'd be good. You know. We'd make five times the money, and, and uh, we still wouldn't be rich because of the percentage yeah. our manager takes off from us. You should manage yourself then. But that's that's a job, and that's not fun. 
Well, you know, I do manage myself manually, sexually, in a hotel room, but not money-wise with the rock band. You have to do it manually with all the girls screaming at the concerts? Well, they scream at the concert, but they don't scream at the uh, hotel room. Why not? Maybe I smell. I don't know. Maybe I smell bad. I've got bad manners, some of that. I don't know. I'm, I'm a fairly romantic person. I'm still waiting for... True love. Well, not true love. I've, I've been in love a couple of times in my life. I'm very glad and very happy for that. But uh, I'd rather save myself. There's not a lot to save, so I gotta save the last little tiny pieces I can. My goods are very damaged. Yeah? For, for, from what? Excessive partying. <laughs>